Here I'm just going to be tying a uh, brassy, uh, very simple fly, very effective. Uh, I'm going to be using a TMCO 2487 uh, nymph hook and uh, also some UTC 70 uh, black thread. What I'm going to do is just tie in at the head real fast with just a few wraps. And then I'm going to tie in my fine wire. I'm using just some thin Lagerton wire here. Just tie it in right behind the head. And Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wrap down the shank of the hook and the reason I do this is um, there's going to be no lumps or uh, any variations in the thread uh, thickness uh, down the shank of the hook if you wrap on the bank, the bare hook. Uh, so I'm just going to start my, my wraps. You can see how nice, clean, and even those wraps are. And if you use a little thicker wire, uh, you'll build up a a body faster but I prefer to keep it very thin I like a very thin profile if it gets too thick it starts to not look like a midge Let's see and if you make one bad wrap you can just always undo it and keep going and then once I get towards the butt, I'll just take my wire and wrap back up over itself and start to segment it. And that way you can get some segmentation out of your brassy. The traditional style, uh, you don't get any segmentation at all. And once you get to that, then you can tie in your piece of peacock. And I tie it in with the mohawk facing up, the long part. And then I simply roll the hurl backwards. Just put on a simple head. And whip finish. That's all there is to the brassy. Very quick and effective fly. Um, one of my reasons, or one of the reasons, it's one of my favorites. I like flies that are fast and simple, um, and that fish well. That's the brassy.